Many months ago, my honey bunny and I began our search for our very first home. And this search was filled with trials and tribulations. Dream houses were visited and seen, but then lost due to a overactive housing market. But then we were lucky enough to come upon a house that nobody else wanted. And due to this fact, we were able to get our very first home. Now we are tapping into the magic that's in this home and the little yard that surrounds it while also adding our own magic to it to create a sanctuary space for ourselves. Hi, welcome to Homebody Witch. This channel is going to be exploring as we bring magic and tap into the magic of our first home all on a budget. So why not join us in that fun? First up, we decided to use some color magic to really help set the intentions that we had for the house. We haven't completed all the color magic yet, but let's take a little look at what we have done so far. So the first thing that we decided to do is that we want to bring some color magic into our home to support the sort of energy and vibes that we want in the different rooms. And right now the whole place is painted gray, which isn't really supportive of what we're looking for. And so we are going to transform this space. We want it to be more of a peaceful space for rejuvenation. So while it is gray now, it's going to be green. We decided to go with the color green in this room, which is basically the living space, the living room, because we really wanted to tap into creating a space that encouraged harmony, balance, and sort of finding that inner peace while you're in the room. And the color green is very beneficial for creating that feeling of harmony and for creating a bit of a sanctuary and a tranquil space. So that's why we went with the color green and I really like this color that we went with because depending on the amount of light that comes in during the day, the shade changes a little bit. So I really just like the way it adapts itself with the changing of the light during the day. And we even decided that for this room, we're not gonna have the television in this room. We're having a separate small room that's sort of the TV entertainment room. And that's because I very much wanted to create a space that when we go to watch television or a movie, it's very intentional so that you don't get lost and caught up too much in watching too much screen time. You're sort of intentionally setting aside that time when you're up there and then coming back downstairs. And this room is for gathering together to, um, you know, create some balance and harmony, and then also for reading and listening to music. So I'm really happy with how this green color turned out, and this is how we are tapping into the color magic of green for this space whose purpose and intention is for tranquility, sanctuary, and peace. Next up, we want to paint the bedroom because it is also the same shade of gray as the living room was. And we are wanting to go for a more peaceful feeling within the bedroom and also chose a color that helps you have prophetic dreams. So once it was gray and next, blue. I went with a nice, calming cool blue in the bedroom and that's because the color blue can help promote coolness and reduce inflammation which i thought is very beneficial in the room that you're going to sleep in because you want your body to feel cool when you sleep because it does support better sleep it's also a very calming color especially this nice sort of light blue and blue is very supportive of prophetic dreams and astral projections and can be protective of those states so i thought what better color to paint the bedroom than a color that supports for prophetic dreams and also a coolness of the body and I really love this blue. I find it 
very calming and comforting which is a nice color to be surrounded by when you're in your room and this was just a simple way to really tap into some color magic and do it on a budget because we painted ourselves and hey who else there who does painting really hates the taping but it's definitely worth it because it helps the process now next I want to tackle this small room that's going to be sort of like an office space for me and it is also oh, gray as you can guess it because almost all of this house is the color gray and I want to paint it a color that will help promote some creative thinking some clarity of thought but also to be a cheerful space that makes me smile when I enter it orange I'm really delighted how this room turned out I find it just really fun and inspiring and cheerful. I chose orange because I wanted a color that supports new ways of seeing, creativity, and some cheerfulness, as I said, so that when I'm in the space, I just feel inspired and able to work. And I really enjoy this, um, this color of orange that's just really for me feels soothing and kind of reminds me of an orange you might see in a fun like candy shop so i'm so happy with this color um i think orange is a color that a lot of times isn't used enough so i'm delighted to have it in my office space so that's the start that we've had in bringing in some color magic into our home. We still have some more painting to do and other projects lined up and planned. We have to agree on where the art's going to go and which art's going up where, which will be fun. If you enjoy learning and watching about bringing some of that home body hearth magic into your home and just really having it fill your space, then why not subscribe down below? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for spending time with Homebody Witch. Bye.